Boom shakalaka, Bitcoin is gearing up for an absolutely massive move. Find out why this October is going to be incredible. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of our interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including how Bitcoin is gearing up for a massive move, why this October is going to truly rock. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now today, fear and greed, 43 down from yesterday's 45, but up from last week's 41. The overall market sideways today, Bitcoin at 26,539, Ethereum at 1636, BNB at 214, XRP 50 cents, Dogecoin 6 cents, Cardano 25 cents, Solana $19, and Tuncoin 222. Now, Bitcoin right now sitting below this dashed orange line, which is the line from the bottom to a $40,000 Bitcoin by the halving. It's basically just following that line at the moment. Underneath the 50-day moving average right now, that is sitting at 27,331. Now, the last few times we had a death cross of the 50 and 200-day moving average, the last three times, as a matter of fact, Bitcoin price crashed down into this red box here. Is that going to happen again? Time will tell because we have roughly until October 20th for that to happen or else we might be going up. Now, as of right now, Bitcoin is managing to stay above the estimated all-in cost to mine one Bitcoin, which is roughly $23,500. When the price goes above this cost after falling below, it usually marks the cycle bottom like we saw right here. With the halving just seven months away and cost being eaten into miner profitability, it's paramount that miners set themselves up correctly for the next cycle. Yes, very interesting. Right now, it seems like everyone is still pretty bearish on the market. You know, this time is different. Bitcoin's dead. It's a Ponzi scheme. Meanwhile, at the top, everybody's like, this is it forever. So maybe you just want to buy at the bottom when everybody else is bearish and wait. Because even though we did just have a death cross, check this out. The 50 and 200 day moving average death cross. When Bitcoin forms a death cross after a bear market, look at what happens afterwards massive gains afterwards. We just had that death cross. So could we be in for some massive gains? Well, potentially. Stay tuned till the end of the episode to find out more. Bitcoin right now, monthly close above the MA10 line confirmed the start of a new bull market every previous cycle. Bitcoin right now is currently testing that line. You can barely see this green candle there on that line. We'll see if that will hold. Historically, we are still in a bull market, so calls for patience. Right now, if we take a look at the on-chain value map, we're still sitting underneath the fair value, which is this dotted line again. At the time of the halving, that'll be roughly $40,000. But as of right now, Bitcoin is undervalued. Not heavily undervalued, but undervalued. Generally, those are the times to buy and times to sell would be the overvalued and heavily overvalued moments. Breaking out of falling wedges for Bitcoin has spelled massive gains historically. This macro chart clearly demonstrates multiple falling macro wedge, uh, falling wedge formations and breakouts. These wedges always send Bitcoin to a new high. Now, granted, each one is a little bit less than the previous one, but $200,000 is inevitable after this breakout. Yeah, I sure hope so. Even if we take a look right now, this fractal that we have right here, very similar to what we saw here in 2018, 2019, 2020, and taking this bar pattern, overlaying it where we are right now, showing the next target is $46,000, that blue dot right there, according to the similar track in 2018 to 2021. Before reaching a new all-time high, Bitcoin will eventually pull back. $30,000 will be the new floor. Very, very interesting. It turns out we're just getting wicked off again. Wick off to the top, wick off to the bottom. I'm not going to go through this whole chart. But basically, there's two floors to it. There's a spring and a second retest before a massive move. So same thing inverted. We have the spring, we have the breakout, second retest. Well, we would be due for the next major massive up move there. If we take a look here, everybody's waiting for the second move to loss, to buy in. Well, we are finally here. This move historically has picked out times when it is an amazing time to buy. We have the cycle buy confirmation down on the bottom, which is the lowest point, which is hard to hit. But the next time we get into that buy zone, which we just recently tapped into, this should be the point when you realize Bitcoin is at a massive discount on the, ver on the verge of a huge, huge breakout too. Because if we take a look at the RSI right here, 
We have Bitcoin price going down. We have RSI going up. That is a divergence right now. But also, we have the RSI coiling up within a triangle within a bullish divergence, signaling a potential breakout. This could be absolutely massive. Now, like I said, this is a bullish divergence, so generally price would go up with this. But, you know, we'll kind of have to see because this signal here has only ever signaled once before, before one of the largest bull runs that Bitcoin has ever in its history had. And it just signaled again. And it's saying, guess what? Rocktober is going to rock. There have only been two times in Bitcoin's history that the rock and the S rock indicator have turned red. You can see right down here where they're turning red right there in 2015, 2016 here, and also right now in 2023. At that time, it changed from red to green after 305 days. And at that point, when they turned to green, look at that, all up territory, 100x all up territory for the strongest bull run to date. Well, guess what? In October or Rocktober or whatever you want to call it, it will be 305 days again, likely to send Bitcoin to absolutely massive new all-time highs. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push the like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.